So, Cal from BHP UK. Uh, we're carrying on with the GT Continental uh, that belongs to our friend GM Auto. Uh, we've got some more parts from Tech to develop our remapping for. Uh, we're now looking at the two into one uh, exhaust system that they do. It's basically, let's have a look in the box. We've got a couple of downpipes, a down downpipe there. We've got a, a collector pipe. It's obviously going to join the, the two into the one system. A baffle and some clamps there and the end cam itself as per usual from tech looks like a, a quality piece of kit let's get it on let's see what we can map it to uh, and let's see what difference it actually makes moving the system's fairly straightforward jobs a, a mount for the uh, end can a central mount and then we've just got the two studs that hold the the down pipes in I tend to take the, the rear can mount off and the front uh, and then just take the central mount off. Makes life a little bit easier. The first thing I always do is disconnect the lambdas. Just makes it a little bit easier. It would have been even better if I'd have wiggled the wire out of the way, but there you go. Uh, that's the, the old system off. Fairly straightforward, really. Same procedure for the other side already disconnected the lambda, move the wire out of the way this time. Exhaust studs, I just have a habit of doing them by hand. I don't like buzzing these out, I like to be able to feel them coming out. It's the other side off. So we're going to remove the lambda from the old system to put it onto the new system. Put the centre mount in place. Quite well designed in that you can't see bolts and such like. Finally, we just reconnect the lambda sensors. I always cable tie these cables out of the way a little bit because otherwise they can foul the head. Also on this, I've pulled the clutch cable out of the way a little bit just to make sure it, it doesn't foul the, uh, the downpipe. That's everything nipped up. We'll give it a quick start. Then we can get a coffee before we put it on the dyno. So that's the, the bike run. We've had to make some slight tweaks to the ECU to optimize the map for the two into one system. We found that there's not a huge difference in the amount of power that the two systems make. Uh, they're, both, they're both very good. Maybe with the, the two into one, it does carry on producing a little bit more power at the top end, but you sacrifice a little bit of that for the mid range. But really it all depends on, on what you're looking for in a system. This is a, a good looking system really, personally. I prefer it, but that's subjective. You might like the two end cans. That appeals to me a little bit more, but like I say, that's subjective to, to whatever you like. So we've gained about half a horsepower at the top end, but we've sacrificed a little bit lower down, maybe a couple of horsepower there. So we've, uh, we've now fully developed a map for the two into one and the two into two. Uh, you can't go wrong, I don't think, with either of the exhaust systems. It's subjective, it's what you're looking for, it's a look that you're looking for. If you've got anything to say, uh, drop in the comment section below. We'd love to hear what you think. Uh, if you need the maps, just give us a shout. We do a postal service on these maps. Uh, we do actually have a YouTube video on how to remove the ECU. It's a really easy job. I'm sure you're not going to struggle with that. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. It really does help us out and keeps you informed of any new releases that we've got coming up. <laughs>